What's up boys, it is your boy Yakubo here and today we have a tutorial video about um, the OB uh, OBS, the best settings for OBS right here. So what I want you to do first before you do anything in this video actually is to just like and subscribe, turn on those noties and also use support a creator code. Follow me on all socials, link in description as well and uh, let's get into this. Oh and by the way first, the, the person that types in obs the most in the comments we'll get a shout out next video so make sure to uh type in obs just spam that down in the comments below okay boys before anything you obviously want to have it downloaded install the most uh previous update which if you don't know how to install the most previous update i mean the most recent update it'll probably give you a message when you install the obs to if you want to update it or not but basically once you do that to even record something, I bet you guys already know how to do that, but if you didn't know, you can either do display capture, which captures your whole display of your monitor, or you can do a game capture, which uh, captures a specific game or application, okay? Or you could do video capture, which is like face cam or webcam. Okay, now we can go. Right now, at the moment, I am also using Streamlabs to record this, and um, I am recording this at like 13,000 bit rate if you um know what that is but that's because i'm not running anything and one thing you need to know is that these applications the settings will really affect like the game you're playing and it might make you lag a bit but i'm gonna show you the settings for the best uh, the best settings for the low end pcs because i have a low end pc i play on a mac so um for this first general tab you don't really need to do anything if you don't have um all these settings like me uh just change it to what i have it's really basic stuff it's not really needed if you don't really have to change if you don't want now for stream obviously for streaming you're gonna have to have a stream key on uh youtube or i don't know how that works for twitch but for youtube for sure um and also these settings apply for youtube and twitch or whatever you need so it's not specifically just for youtube because i just stream on youtube specifically but it's also for twitch so let's move into output so streaming right here so for streaming, here's the thing. Streaming is very weird because it's live. You're having everything produced live. Everything's running live. Like if if something crashes, that's just unfortunate. Like, so you want to make sure your game still runs smoothly. So what you're gonna wanna do is have this on whatever your graphics card is, or I mean your GPU. Um, instead of in but if you don't have that if you don't have anything other than x264 then you should put 264 but have that there i have my amd advanced media frame web network there rescale i'll put just leave that as 1920 by 1080 preset there uh you can try these but i really wouldn't recommend it and then uh quality preset definitely put on balance because you want it to be balanced rate control method put vbr because here's what we're gonna do so as you can see once you put it on vbr um, if you put on CBR, it's only going to give you one option for the bitrate. If you put on VBR, you have two options. So I'll explain what VBR does. It's basically, so as OBS runs, it takes up CPU usage. And while you're running the game, the uh, OBS uses the CPU and it's it works harder. And this can sometimes make your game crash if it works too hard. So that's why VBR is good because it has a target bitrate bit and a peak bitrate because it, um, its target is what it wants to get to. So even if you set, set it as a target bitrate, um, the computer has not the option to where it can adjust itself for best performance on the game as well. So for me, I have 5500 by 6500 and that's for 1080p 60fps recording. If you don't, if that still doesn't work out and you're still getting stutters, definitely put 2500 and 4500. That's for 720p, but I'm gonna leave that at 5500 and 6500. And if you still don't understand bitrate, it's basically the amount of pixels kind of uh, like on your screen. Basically for better quality, higher bitrate equals better quality, lower bitrate equals worse quality. And then you wanna have key, keyframe interval on two. That's for also recording as you can see here. Now for recording, so my uh, OBS actually uses less CPU usage than Streamlabs. That's why I use OBS to record and stream because my game runs smoother as well. Therefore, I can get more FPS and stuff. So you want to have recording format as MP4. Same thing here. You want to have 
uh, AVC, do not choose HEVC if you have that. Um, don't, if you have nothing else except X264, again, just do X264. You want to have your recording path to a set folder. You can go here, you can click on desktop or any folder you want. And then your resale output, obviously, 1920 by 1080. And then preset, not, you don't want anything there again. Balanced, uh, and then you want rate control method CBR this time. Well, you, you can actually do VBR as well, but for me, I like to do CBR so everything stays more consistent. Because as a recording, you want everything to be more consistent, more high quality. So right here, I have 10,000 bit rate. And this really depends on your internet connection. But um, definitely just do the 4,500, uh, I mean 5,500 to 6,500 if you want to have 1080p most of the time. This is just to... I just put 10,000 because my computer can handle it. For most of you guys, you probably won't be able to handle it. So just make sure you have 5,500 to 6,500 or even 4,500 to 6,500. And also do filler data enabled and keyframe interval too. For audio, you really just want to have the settings just like this. I mean, I really haven't changed these settings. So I don't know if these are different for you guys, but just keep it at this. This is my settings. If you replay buffer you really want to set this up um i can make another video how to do clips on that which will be coming out soon but here is audio um you can just copy whatever this is because honestly this audio stuff it really doesn't matter unless you need to change your audio devices which i don't need to do here's a really important part of video base canvas re resolution you want this to be at 1920 by 1080 for both of them you want down downscale filter if you can't do lanzos it's if it's still lagging at lanzos definitely do bl bilinear fastest but blurry if scary if scaling and then fractional you want to put this on fractional fps value definitely set this to 60 for low end pcs but if it's still even lagging at that put it at 48 and if it's still lagging at that if it's still lagging at that put it at 24 because 24 i'll show you an example right here um, um 24 is makes it look laggy but also kind of smooth it makes it have a cinematic feel 48 is trying to make an illusion to make it kind of um more smooth and 60 is just all around pretty smooth so here are the hotkeys i don't uh you don't really need to see my hotkeys then advanced recording format you don't really need to mess around with this really but um yeah that is about it for the settings boys um as you can see you can also add a bunch of images and stuff if you want me to give a tutorial on, on the best stuff to add to your streaming settings and stuff just comment below remember for, uh person to comment o comment obs the most gets a shout out next video but right now i'm actually gonna hop okay everyone as you can see i am playing right now and look i'm literally getting like what is it i'm getting like 100 to like 144 fps which is actually really good and that is because obs uses less cpu usage and it's overall better than streamlabs but hold up my ping is obviously worse and that usually happens when i'm when i'm recording just got on too but i'm pretty bad so but basically as you can see the 10,000 bit rate it's actually pretty clear and this this 10,000 bit rate doesn't mean it's going to be consistent. So as you can see, probably right now, it's probably not clear all the time, but nice. That's probably not the clearest right now, but it is definitely still, still like worthy of being like in a video. Yeah, 10,000 bit rate is actually pretty good, boys. I'm not even gonna lie. GG, boys. See? So, basically, the bit rate really takes it can really take a toll on your CPU sometimes, but 10,000 is, like, just the right spot for me because I like to make high-quality recordings and stuff. And also, my video settings are are lower than most people's so that's also why i can get better fps let's play one more round of this and then that's a, that's about it for this video boys hopefully you enjoy this uh the, this the setup though okay boys i'm gonna leave creative but hopefully the recording was clear or at least clear enough because um 
it really very it really varies because they it, it tries to get to your con the bit rate that you set it to but sometimes it can't so sometimes the recording will come out a little bit more blurry than it's supposed to but yeah that's about it boys um thank you for uh Thank you for watching. Remember to comment OBS. Whoever comments it the most gets a shout out, like, comment, and subscribe. And also use support creator code Yakupo underscore FN. And I will see you guys later.